Today, I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step how to set up Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, which are now the default campaign option in Meta's Ads Manager. In my previous video, I explained exactly what Advantage Plus shopping campaigns are and what I recommend you use them for, which in short was for running promos, but the setup is exactly the same if you're looking to use them as your main campaign type. That said, if you've not watched that video, I still recommend you go and watch that as you'll understand how Advantage Plus shopping campaigns actually work, which will allow you to use them more effectively in your actual accounts. Okay, we're gonna jump onto my computer where I'm gonna show you an extract from my new Facebook ads course called Ads Ace. And you're gonna to get to see me step-by-step -step build an Advantage Plus shopping campaign from start to finish, giving you all the settings that you need. If you like it and you wanna fast track your learning with Facebook ads, there is a link in my bio to the ads course and you can get some more information on it as well as of course, enroll in it. So definitely go and check that out. Anyway, let's jump onto the video now. Right, we're inside Ads Manager and we can set up an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to the green create button and you're gonna come down and select your campaign objective, which would be sales. Of course, this is always on auction, right? So you're gonna come down to collect sales and hit continue. And you're gonna get two options, as always, your Advantage Plus shopping campaign set as the default or your manual sales campaign, which you have to then go and select. So we're gonna make sure it's just left on Advantage Plus shopping campaign and hit continue. Now you're gonna notice that this is a bit different from the normal campaigns in that there's only two items here. This is your campaign and this is your ad. They don't show you your ad set here, but you can still come in and edit it once your campaign's running or if you're coming back to access this by simply clicking on it and you'll get taken to the ad set level, okay? So you can see there's the ad set and there is the ad. And obviously you can adjust the budget at the ad set level, right? So let's come back into the campaign now to start setting it up. So the first thing, you're gonna to wanna to give it a name. We're not gonna do that for time, but you would just use the naming tool as always. Then you're gonna come down. If you have special ad categories, you can do this, but most of you are not, uh, probably all of you are not, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then you're gonna come down to the conversion location section. If you are in the US currently, you'll be able to select your website and shop as an option, but I'm not, so we just have the website. And then you're gonna have the performance goal, which is connected to whatever you've selected, right? So we can't change it, it's maximized number of conversions. That's what we want anyway though, right? And then you'll come in and select the pixel if it's not already selected. And you don't have to do anything else in that section. You can now move on to the audience location. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna set our audience location to whatever we want, okay? But then you'll notice here that we can't actually exclude any locations in this ad set level. For Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, if you wanna exclude locations, what you have to do is you have to set it as a preset in your ad account settings. And then as that is applied to every Advantage Plus campaign that you create in your account, okay? Until you decide to change the preset, but it's gonna be applied to everything. So I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. Um, you would click on this and it's gonna take you, but I just wanna keep going through this because there's another thing that we'll also do in ad account settings. So we'll do it when we get to that point, right? So just keep in mind, we're gonna have to adjust the location if need be. So I don't need to, I don't need to exclude anything. I'm targeting the UK only. So there's no need to exclude anywhere, right? And let's keep coming down. So you can see it's fast to set up. You don't have to do anything. And then here's something that we will have to do. That is the audience type breakdown. So if we want to set a, set a cap on how many, how much of our existing audience are getting shown our Advantage Plus shopping campaign ads, well, we need to set this. Okay, so let's click on this now. I've already done it. It's going to basically open you up at this tab. And if you're not in here and you want to change it, what you would do is you'd come down to add account settings on the left-hand side. And that's going to take you to the same place, okay? So you don't need to come into your campaign settings to do this. You can just go into the sidebar. But anyway, so the first thing is we can edit the location. And 
than the audience. Okay, so the location, click on this audience controls. And you want to select my business only can advertise in specific locations. And then you want to add the locations that you want to exclude. Okay, so again, I don't want to exclude any. You'd simply type them in there and then hit review changes. Likewise, if you've got something that's age restricted, you can set a limit on the age if there's any laws in your particular country. Okay, so we're going to exit that. That is the account controls. And then the next thing you want to do, which you do want to do, is your existing customers. Okay, so we're going to add our existing customers so that we are able to use the feature of the percentage bid cap or percentage audience cap in the campaign. Okay, so I've got my Clavio audience already set up and I've actually got the pixel one. So I'll just add them both for good measure. That is my current customers. And I can then hit continue. Okay, so my current customers are now registered for the Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. So now we can apply caps to them. So let's go back into the campaign now. We're just going to refresh it. So we can come down now and get back to the audience location. Okay, so the audience location, ha the sorry, the, the customers have now appeared in the ad set. And if we come down a bit further to the budget and schedule, we can see here the existing customer budget cap. So here you can select your existing budget cap for your customers. I tend to go for 10%. So only 10% of my current customers are going to be showing the actual ad, okay? Then come in and set your daily budget. Let's say it's $100 maybe, £100 in this case. Uh, that is set. Then you can come down to your start date. So again, I always go for the day after we're doing this. And then you can come down to the actual suggested ad section. So what they're going to do is they're going to suggest your best ads because that's the whole point of these campaigns. So they're all they're already going to scan your account, find your best ads and suggest them if you want to use them. But obviously we use these for promos. So I don't take these. What we're going to do is we're just going to build the ads in the ad section, okay? So we're in the ad section now. It's exactly the same how, how you'd build an ad normally. You're going to come in, give it a name, select your page, okay? So let's set the page. Let's get yeah, the Instagram account already connected. If you have set up the ads elsewhere and you want to use existing posts and grab the post IDs, you can do that. Or you can build them directly in the Advantage plus shopping campaign, which is what I do because the promos are going to be turned off anyway. And you can come in, select single image or video, or if you're using carousels, collections, whatever. I leave multi-advertiser ads checked, and then you can come down and add your creative. So let's just add one as an example. There's no promo, but we'll just grab an image. Okay, so hit continue, or hit next, sorry. So these all keep all these selected. Otherwise, you'll create tons of different post IDs. And in here as well, I think it's worth keeping these all just on. If you have some brand issues where you don't like the music that's going to be played or you don't like how they expand the image, this is like AI expanding your image for you. If you don't like what they've done, it looks wonky. You can come in and turn any of these individual ones off by uh, just turning them off, okay? And then that means the all automation is going to stop but the rest of these are going to be on. So let's uh, not bother with that for now anyway. So we've added an image. With the Advantage Plus campaigns, I don't recommend you doing the 3 to 2 having multiple creatives or multiple copy. You're best just creating one creative variant, one copy, and one headline. If you, have, if you want to try different copy on the same creative, just create a new ad because the goal with Advantage Plus campaigns when we're doing a promo is we just want to have it running and then kill all the stuff that's not working very quickly. A dynamic creative or like having multiple creative and copy variants is variants. It means it's going to be testing those and that's going to take longer. We just want to be able to manually turn it all off and leave the good stuff because the promo is not going to run very long. Okay. So one creative, one copy, um, so let's just say like, hey, 10% off, <laughs> just as an example. 
use code XYZ. Uh, one headline. There you go. You, you also get suggested copy, by the way. Um, this is quite new, so I've not tested how good they are to a much extent. But yeah, sometimes I'll put them in. If so if you if you want some inspiration, just write a little bit and then you can uh, get whatever Facebook ads creates for you. Anyway, we're going to skip that. Uh, the headline, like winter promo. You know, we're just not a real thing here, okay? Don't bother with a description. No one ever sees them. It doesn't add any value. Change the call to action to shop now, okay? And you can come in and add your URL. Dash, I remember my own website. <laughs> um. Don't touch anything here. Come in and add your UTM parameters. So I'm not going to grab them, but they are in the course and in our other tutorials. Okay. But we're going to put the UTMs in there. I'll actually I'll leave them in the description. And then you would come in and hit duplicate and basically create up create your next ads. Okay. So just create all the ads for your promo. Like like we said earlier, there's 150 ads you're able to use in this. Even meta are recommending you're using like 15 ads in your advantage plus shopping campaigns and certainly everyone i know uh personally and in the space is finding best success by using lots of ads in their advantage plus shopping campaigns so unlike other campaigns where we were, we're, we're running less ads you know we're, we're ideally having like three to five ads running in these types of creative in these types of campaigns use um, as many ads as you want the more the merrier and yeah, that should work for your promo. So after you've done all that, you would simply just hit publish and that will be going live when it is scheduled. That's the setup. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will happily answer them. And like I said at the start, if you're looking to scale your Facebook ads accounts and use the platform properly, go check out Adsace. It's my new fully comprehensive video course where I'll show you everything from strategy to setting up campaigns, to managing campaigns and of course making creative and copy as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and until the next one, have a great one.